Today, we're with the Managing Director of Brendan from Raise Invest. And I think, Brendan, the really exciting thing and the thing that people might not realise is that there are a lot of people throughout Australia who are using the Raise platform for uh, investing their hard-earned dollars. I understand that you have over 300,000 monthly active users now. I think people would be really curious to learn a little bit about the sort of behaviours and trends that you're seeing with your customers uh, throughout the region. Yeah, Wendy, thanks for having me, having me here this morning. Look, it, it, it's, an, it's an amazing uh, product here at Raise Invest. And what we do is we break down the barriers to investing into small amounts over time consistently. And the app was built on two core principles, small amounts add up, and customers need a way to save without necessarily changing their lifestyle. And so, some stats we released earlier on in the year, there's been over 441 million in the 2023 calendar year from Gen Z and uh, millennials of savings. And that, that equates over the eight years of the product to 2.4 billion. So small amounts consistently over time has saved us Aussies over 2.4 billion. And on top of that, what we do with Raise and the portfolios that we create, we have created to give people access to the financial capital markets is that over $130 million has been reinvested in dividends for this 300,000 plus active monthly customers. So maybe we can kick off and start with really explaining to the audience a little bit. Some people may, may be using Race and some people may have never heard of it. So maybe just if you can kick off and um, because I love that concept of you have a little bit left over, pop it into your app and, and you know, as you say, all those little things add up. So I'd love for you to just to give a bit of an um, ex explanation on how it works for the audience. Yeah. Look, it, it's an app that you download from the Google Play or, or the um, Apple Store. And it's all about having it in the palm of your hand. What we do is we break down bite-sized information for financial education, but giving hands-on experience of putting something like we pioneered roundups. And what that what roundups means is you link your debit card or your credit card to raise. We see that you bought a coffee for $4.50, um, and then we round that to $5, and we take that 50 cents and we put it in the portfolio of your choice. Now, we've been operating here in uh, over eight years here in Australia, and we first started with sort of five portfolios. It's grown to now nine different portfolios. So if someone has seen Raise or Acorns as it was when we first launched here in Australia, the product has changed. We did pioneer this micro investing and these small amounts around, through roundups. Now we're, we offer so much more. And at the end of the day, we want to take um, all Australians from cradle to grave on that financial services journey. So we have a Raise Kids product for under 18s. We have the Raise Invest product. Then we lead through with all, all different various products that we have from Raise Rewards, the plus portfolios where a customer can do a bit more customization of their portfolios on the ASX with over 150 investment choices through to our Raise Invest Super product. So for boomers, what are what are the, I guess, advantages of using this platform than anything they might have been um, using for that? Those extra little dollars, you know, the coffee, the rounding up, the, like, so what are the advantages of using Raise over what they've been doing perhaps? Yeah, I think there's a couple of um, advantages, but and, and the first one starts with it's the technology. It's it's real time. It's in the palm of your hand. But we break it down. There's a very low fee structure on it to get people into accesses, and the more products you use, the the, the better the fee sort of rate is. And you know, just just as a start, it's a four dollars fifty a month to to get in as many withdrawals as many deposits. But even the switching, you might want to go from a conservative portfolio to an aggressive or our social responsible. You know, one of the good things that uh, has come out from, from a boomer's point of view is the Sapphire portfolio where we've got a 5% allocation to Bitcoin. So it's, they want to know about Bitcoin. They, they, they might have a little bit of FOMO about it. Well, how do I get into it? Don't go to one of the complicated apps where you've got hard wallets, hot wallets, cold wallets, 16 digit passwords. Race can do that for you with guardrails on it. Uh, and then it's something like Raise Kids where we see we've opened up 40,000 Raise Kids accounts over the last 14, 15 months and they've been set up by grandparents. So grandparents can assist in this cost of living because it's not the bank of mum and dad anymore. And our, and our surveys and our customers are telling us it's the bank of mum and dad and grandparents with the cost of living, with the housing prices in Australia and even education costs. They Everybody's leaning on each other for a bit of help. And we've seen a lot of grandparents open up Raise Kids accounts for, for the young ones. So I heard two things there when it came to grandparents and grandkids. For a start, I think it would be a nice little um, brag factor to say they're investing in their Bitcoin and, oh, let me just check on my Bitcoin. <laughs> but I also think that uh, it's such a lovely story to think about 
raise uh, kids in terms of the, you know, uh, grandparents being able to set this up for their kids. Because, you know, I remember back when I was a kid, it was the $5 note in the big birthday card that came every year. Um, but, you know, I think this is such a, a, a modern version of that $5 note in the birthday card. Um, but it's so, I think, something that the not uh, not only would be easy for the grandparents to pick up, but for the grandkids, it's something that they, you know, that they can very much relate to. And I think that's a beautiful kind of connection as well. Yes, yeah. And it, it, and that, that's the point. My parents have one, have set up raised kids for my six-year-old and, and, and three-year-old. So they are putting, a, they're putting in their automatic roundups, but also their raised rewards. And that might be three or $4 back from a milk run delivery or, you know, that we, they've got a dog. So it's the pet barn at $6 every five or six weeks. That five or $6 every six weeks over an 18 year period, plus the compounding and, and being in the market, they, they really make a difference. And that, that's what we're that's what we're excited about because these kids, these this under 18s are getting hands-on experience. They can see and there's parental controls around the app to say, can they view it, can they deposit, can they switch, can they can they create their own past portfolios? But it's giving it to them in the palm of their hands real time. Yeah, I love it. So do you sort of see that this is changing the mindset of people when it comes to investment a little bit? Absolutely. I think it's breaking down the barriers to give them a give them the opportunity to get in. But it's a bit like th there's been a lot of studies uh, from both Ray's and other other competitors out there is you know, you can't tell someone to change. It's, you know, you know the, the, the leopard's never going to change its spots. But by leaning on technology to assist with this, that, that's the benefit of it. So, you know, small amounts add up, you know, the ashtray in the car or the coin jar at home, this is now all virtually adding that up. And we do know that when you took the ashtray or the gold coins to the bank to cash in, they did add up. So small amounts over time make a difference. Yeah, absolutely. I think whenever we're talking about investment and particularly uh, I think for our audience, you know, they've seen a lot of um, online uh, things that worry them. Um, what are the risks involved and how does this platform, I guess, protect our audience when it comes to the risks involved in investment? Yeah, it's uh, it's very it's very basic in general financial knowledge. So it's it's hands on. So what I mean by that is, if you deposit ten dollars today, you could pick your portfolio and it'll, it might go into say the aggressive portfolio that has seven different ETFs in it. So it creates that diversification. There's no there's no concentration risk on one asset or one stock on the on the ASX. So it, it's educating people on it, but it's also diversifying where their investments are from a performance and a return point of view. It, um, the security, we're top level security, it does keep us all awake at night. As I said, we've got over 300,000 active customers. So security is absolutely top of mind. Um, you know, there's, all, there's a lot of scams and, and, and text messaging out there. We, we keep to our channels. We, we pick up the phone and talk to our customers. And we've got a great customer support team that adds to the testimony of the business that we get back to customers. We explain to customers before they can do anything. No, our audience love having people that they can contact um, that, you know, that it's not just sort of like a, a faceless organisation. So that's awesome. Um, so there's more financial volatility ahead, I think, for all of us. So what tips do you have that, you know, what ways can people save more while money's tight in this environment that we're in? I think one thing the Raise app does, uh, and it's right through the uh, the generations, is that it because of the roundup functionality, it makes people look at where they're spending their money. Um, you know, we did. We I did have a, an, a, an older guy in the office that, because of raise, his Amex card was coming in at you know, say thousand dollars a month, and he never looked at thousand dollars, nine hundred dollars. Yep, just pay it off. But this looked at the transactions, and he goes, "I actually cancelled that Apple subscription two years ago." He wrote to Apple, and they gave him four ninety nine times twenty four months refund. So it makes people be honest with where they're spending their money because it's a second set of eyes. It's not only on your bank statement or your credit card; it's in the app. You can see what's been rounded up. And oh, what was that for? So it's it's but making people be honest. Yeah, you know, functionality that roundup functionality, the raise rewards with over thirteen hundred um, merchants on it everybody can save and as i said if it's three dollars a week or four dollars a week or six dollars a week over a 52 week period that can add up and that might be the christmas presents or the christmas travel that people have at those sort of you know the old christmas club account day so it, it, it those small amounts add up but by having it in the palm of the hand uh leaning on the technology to create those you know, small amounts depositing on a reoccurring basis it could be daily weekly monthly it it, it tightens it up to so people can save and 
Over the last 12 months, we've seen a 19% increase in deposits because we're letting customers know that the importance of an emergency fund or a or, or, or a little bit of savings doesn't hurt and customers are, and are depositing more and more each day. That's all really great advice. Do you have anything, just to finish off with um, that sort of uh, tips around saving money, just any tips that you want to finish with around the cost of living pressures that we're all sort of experiencing? What would your, as, as, as an MD of a finance company, what, what are your top tips for saving money in this think, environment? Look, that's a good question. And no matter where you are in your financial journey, we can all save money. We, can all, we all need that little bit of extra for, for whether it's a rainy day or something else. So I think back to my previous point, you've got to be honest with yourself. You've got to be honest with where you're spending your money. You know, through, through the Raise app and through our customers, we've seen over $160 million on food on demand. So that's the food delivery. You know, don't do it two or three times a week. Maybe do it one once a week and, and, and you know, there, there's some savings there. It's the streaming services. 59% of our customers uh, have told us that they have one streaming app, but there is uh, millions of dollars spent in our in, across our aggregate, across those Netflix and Apple TVs and those. So what that suggests you is some people do have two or three. Do you really need two or three? And again, $15, $9.99 a month might not sound a lot today, but if you times it by 12, times it by 24, it makes a hell of a difference. Um, and then as we, as we know, what's out there in the um, general market is the electricity cost. You know, raised consumers or raised customers have spent over $360 million in electricity over the period. You know, look at your suppliers. Look at it. It's much easier to switch these days. It's be honest where you're spending your money and it is not that hard to switch and look for a better alternative. That's great advice. Brendan, thank you so much for your time today. It's been great to learn a little bit more about the platform and it's making me want to go out and set up set up a, a raise a kids uh, investment for my own kids. So I'm sure that'll be the same response for um, our Starts at 60 community as well. So thank you so much for your time today. Perfect. Wendy, thanks for having me.